The player of the match for today's game is Saborika Baitia. Please cheer for her. She is from Nebadhai Balika Vidyalaya. Thank you, Saborika. Well played today. We now move on to honoring our top individual performers. Calling upon the best goalkeeper of the tournament to receive the Golden Glove Award. The winner is, actually there is a joint winner of Thani Hansda from Nayakram, Balika Vidyalaya and Oindri Lakkar from Nebadhai, Balika Vidyalaya. Thank you to both the players. We wish you all the best for your future. It was a close fight to back the prestigious Golden Boot Award. With a tally of 13 goals through the season, the winner is Sagorika Baitia of Nebadhai Balika Vidyalaya. For her consistent performance through the tournament, the Golden Ball Award winner is again Sagarika Baitia of Nebadhai Malika Vidyalaya. They might not be the winners, but they are the second best team in Kolkata. Led by Captain Bonamika Hebram, we would like to invite the runners-up team, Nayagram Thana Balika Vidya Pit, on the field to collect their medallions. Now would request the team coach and captain to collect the prize money. We wish you all the best for the next season.
have played this time. Let's celebrate the Queens of Kolkata. Request the champion team, Nebadhai Balika Vidyalaya, to come forward and collect their winning medals. Now would request the captain Sudeshna Roy and team coach to collect the coveted silver war and prize money. It's time to celebrate the champions of Kolkata City League. Big congratulations to the team. Can we have some music, please?
Aynen bir adı In the third match for the day of RSYS Kolkata League, we will be witnessing the college boys category match between Dr. Bhupendranath Dasta Smriti Mahavidyalaya and New Alipur College. It's now time to welcome the, the match officials and teams onto the field. Come on everyone, let's cheer for the teams. Commissioner Map Anamika Sen to join the teams on the field. May I now request everyone to kindly stand up for the national anthem.
will now have the team handshakes. Good afternoon and welcome to Kolkata once again. The city of joy with its incomparable love for the game of football has now got the baton passed on to challenge they have at the yacht level in the Reliance Foundation Yacht Sports City Championships. Well, of course, it is the Kolkata City Championships and we are here to witness the clash between Dr. Bhupendranath Dutta Smriti Mahavidyale and New Alipur College in the college boys category. The tournament is off and running with some wonderful display of football across the country and we expect nothing less from Kolkata. There's the lineups of the teams on your screen. Dr. Bhupendranath Dutta Smriti Mahavidyale that's the first 11. We'll wait to see what they have on display for us today. Well, football and Kolkata have a very old history of sharing a bond with one another. From the likes of East Bengal, Mohan Bagan and Mohammedan Sporting to every little street around the city, football is almost like a stable culture for the people out here. And the passion is massive, the support is humongous and goes without saying, Kolkata has been a footballing hub for India. Moments away from kickoff here. Waiting for the referee signals to get on with the game. And there we go, the under 23 category, the college boys. It's underway here in Kolkata. New Alipur College in purple and pink jerseys attacking from right to left of your screens. Straight away in an early attack. While Dr. PDS Mahavidyalaya in yellow will be attacking from left to right of your screens in the first half. Confident touch to receive it and now a forward ball the offside flag might be up and uh, there it goes Could have been the first chance saved by the offside flag Good way to start the game then for New Alipur College We'll be referring Dr. Pupendranath Dutta Smriti Mahavidyale as BDS Mahavidyale for the ease of saying it. Here come New Alipur. The two number 11s up against one another, clashing to win possession. Taking his time, just calling upon the opponent players to press him. Early stages in the game to do that. And now this might be a chance opening up for Dr. BDS Mahavidyale. From the left, taking too many touches inside the box. Maybe should have gone for the bar, for the shot uh, initially when he got the ball at the center of the box rather than trying to pass it around and now new alipur on the counter have options and a heavy touch will take it away promising start to the game dr pds Mahavidyalai trying to go into an attack, but once again a miss pass. 
And the flag is up uh, yet again. They're trying to beat the defense with those forward passes. Once with the grounded route, now with the aerial route. Both of them offside. Referees have such important role to play. Always goes unnoticed, but they are the ones who keep working hard as well for 90 minutes. They have to be alert. Any single mistake calls to a huge amount of criticism on them. At the end of the day, they are also humans, and mistakes do happen. They are watching it live in front of their eyes. Unlike us who have the advantage of replays and watching it from a different angle on the screen. A free kick for BDS Mahavidyale floated inside the box, headed out of the danger zone. Joy Bhattacharji with the free kick and now pressure on the defense back to Bibek Mighty. Comfortable with his feet, it seems. Down the right hand side, it's Rohit Singh busting down with pace. Can he keep the ball in play? He's looking for the first time cross, I believe, uh, which is why he made the angle. Took a touch of the defender before it went out, of course. In the first corner of the game, in favor of Dr. BDS Mahavidyale. Corner floated in. That'll go out of play without troubling anyone. Joy Bhattacharji will be looking to do better. One free kick and now a corner. Floated forward down the right hand side through the legs of the defender, it seemed, but covered up well. Well, I wonder if I should just uh, say DBSM as the scorecard says for Dr. Pupendranath Smriti Mahavidyale. And that's a wonderful cross. The offside flag is up, I believe, once again. But nonetheless, the attacker didn't reach in time. And he has been looking dangerous. Six minutes into the game. Nil-nil between the two teams. Positive display of football so far. It'll be interesting to see what happens once one of the teams get on the lead. Will it continue the same way or will we see something different after the first goal? Always a telling point in the game. Floated forward long inside the box. Cleared away from danger. Another forward pass. It's DBSM in another attack. The keeper is in no man's land. The cross comes in. Well, somehow, fortunately, the keeper had made the right decision in coming out. Bubai Sardar is on goal as per the team sheet that I have been given. Hopefully, the correct name. And New Alipur, after a long while, and once again might be offside. They're maintaining the back line so well, you could see on this occasion, he was initially onside, couldn't check his run, and on the other hand, the defenders just stepped up. Slight bit of injury concern, it seems there. If we can see the replay of that attack once, Captain helping him out, and good to see. 
Sanjay Seren, jersey number five, uh, the captain of DBSM. Still early stages uh, in the game. Slight knock for the attacker. Well, good to see the sportsman's spirit alive. The opponent captain reaching out to show his support and help uh, the player. Hopefully, he'll be okay to continue. Sunny winter afternoon in Kolkata. Ideal footballing conditions, especially in terms of the weather. Generally, you would expect it to be hot and humid, but right now, at this time of the year, pretty cool and decent for enjoying the game of football. Of course, the I League going on as well, and the Indian Super League across the country. Kind of a footballing season, we can say. Even the World Cup. People just enjoying themselves. Captains are on frame in quick succession. Enjoy put the charity have one more opportunity this time with the throw in. Doesn't look like he's going for the long throw though. Here is Joy. He has got one more throw in, but the referee says it's the other way around. Trying to find his way out to uh, New Alipur College, looking to create a chance. Uh, so many of their attacks have been, has been offside. Three or four of them, uh, as far as I can remember at this moment. And it's been only 10 minutes in the game. The intent is there, but they need to be more careful. not just careful in defense but careful with possession and maintaining the line with the defense the attacker needs to be on side if they want to score well little issues with the throw in the referee was pointing to the spot where the throw in was given new alipur college had the other plans to take it forward, which is why now the throw in has been awarded to DBSM. We'll play it long and in hope that someone in yellow gets onto that, but it'll be the keeper. Bye, Sardar. Ayan Chaudhary leading his side. Well, if I'm not mistaken, Saurav Naskar is the player on goal for New Alipur College with Jesse number one. A little confusion here and there with the names, especially. But then these players are having a platform here to prove themselves and become more familiar a name in Indian football. He was looking for a foul. The referee not interested. Safely collected by the keeper. New Alipur College need to find a better way out to break the defense and the offside trap. Passing it around in the attacking zone. That's a wonderful pass. Can you keep it in? Just not.
it's match number three of the day and these boys will be giving their best to find out a winner Expect a comparatively mature display than the other games because this is the college boys at the under 23 level. Comparatively, a little more maturity. And once again, he tried to play the pass through. And in an attempt to break the offside trap, he had to check his run, which is why he could not reach the pass eventually. Long ball forward from the keeper. DBSM moving forward, giving away possession. That's a wonderful ball without step. And once again, the flag is up. That's a very, very tight and high line being maintained. Hema with the free kick. Floated forward. Is there a foul in that one? Yes, there is. Uh, there was a push from the captain. Ayan Chaudhary with Jesse number eight leading New Alipur College. And once more a free kick and here is joy once again can he bring joy for his team third time he has a chance to deliver the header will take it out of danger and here come new alipur college Trying to hold on to possession. Wonderful touch to get past two defenders. And now they have space down wide. Well defended. Cleared away for a throw in. Now they might have a chance to break through. Because uh, the position they've got a throw in, in is pretty much close to the final third. There seems to be an issue there but you all can keep enjoying these wonderful matches across the country by staying connected with us and in order to do that uh, to like and subscribe for the official youtube channel of reliance foundation shots where you're watching the game live for New Alipur College. This Somnath Kosh with the free kick. Uh, didn't seem to be a proper connection on that. Now some defending to do. Cleared away finally. DBSM looking to attack from the left hand side. Difficult to spot line at the far side of the pitch. Of course, in play, that is why it has continued. Clear away from danger. Another throw in for DBSM. Taking a little bit of time in the throw-ins 
making sure the players are in the right position where they want them to be and not a great touch uh, the defender has missed it and now joy from the right hand side brings in across the keeper needs to be alert almost the first goal what a chance that neither the keeper nor the attacker at the far post who just needed a touch could get on to that one and first real sign of danger it is the number six joy but the charge you delivers from the right and look at that chance once again mistake from the defender initially for a moment they thought it was curling in and akash hembram had the far post just needed the slightest of touches to turn it in the keeper was totally beaten and here come tbsm once again they have a free kick maybe the ref could have allowed to play on between the defense the keeper has cost them the first goal it's dbsm who are on the lead one nil it took 19 minutes for them to find the first goal and once again not the greatest stuff for manners you would expect them to concede in a lofted ball forward and uh, no one really anticipating it not the keeper neither the keeper or not the defenders and the attacker makes the most out of the opportunity one nil then after 20 minutes played Niwali Pool College have to look for better ideas to break their offside trap. And just a few moments ago, I was saying how DBSM are getting a grip on this match and really starting to control the game. And here they are once again from the left, looking increasingly dangerous every time they go on attack a wonderful understanding and passing across comes in little too far will be a goal kick sharp from tbsm is the least we can say rohit singh was the placing that pass Nightboard taking a bit of risk trying to play it from the back. Where is that a handball? It is indeed. It was a back pass uh, miscommunication once again between the defender and the goalkeeper. It'll be an end kick. And not in the greatest of positions, just in the center of the box, almost near the penalty spot. And look at that. It was a defender, but. Uh, the keeper was at the same position. Very debate. It will almost be close to a penalty. A substitution coming in for New Alipur College. Uh, seems to be the goalkeeper. And this is the man I was uh, talking about initially. Jersey number 14, Bobai Sardar. You cannot go for a direct shot. You have to get a touch before you can unleash the shot. There's the confirmation of the goal scorer. Rohit Singh has given them the lead. And who will be it? Sanjay Soren is interested. So is Gautam Rajbanshi. They cannot take it directly, of course. And I hope uh, they are aware of that. At least two players need to stand together. Or maybe some tactics from them. Rohit is also there. Who will it be? Well, why does it seem like they're going for the direct shot? And that is not actually illegal. I hope the referee is there to correct them and make them aware of it. Or maybe they are aware.
and here's the chance. No one is taking a touch here. And now they have finally deflected off the defender, tried to surprise everyone with that tactics. Uh, was really clever, only if they could have worked it a little better. Joy right now chipped it forward for the number seven, who still is fighting for position. There will be a handball against him. Akash Mondal against Ayan Chaudhary. Ayan Chaudhary will be a relieved man. And uh, that's a mistake from when the captain has called upon trouble here. Here's Rohit from the right. Has options for the cross inside the box. Takes an extra touch. Finally the pass and the shot and water save that. It's still in play and will be cleared away. Water save by Bubai Sardar, the substitute keeper. And that is why he has been brought on. That will be a foul. But what a save that. A yellow card is out as well for the kick after Alko Sadukan. Floated forward. Now confusion once again on the other hand this time. But no mistake eventually. The good part about DBSM is that they're active on both the channels. They're not dependent on one of their wings to attack. And here they come from the left. Trying to win possession. Uh, it'll be out of play. Wonderful through balls. Here's another one of them. This time they've broken the offside trap. And there's a man running towards the far post. Lovely delayed. The cross a little too much should have gone for the first time cross there now he has a chance to whip it in once again takes another extra touch and uh, will win a throw in should really do better there there were players waiting in the box asking for the cross to be delivered which never came in Playing a few passes in the final third. And now inside the box, here comes New Alipur College. And the cross has been blocked at their first corner of the game. Finally, a good spell of attack from New Alipur College. Can they deliver from the corner and get back to level terms in this game? Floated in towards the edge of the box. And now a shot that's connected so, so sweetly. It seems to be the substitute who has got them back in level terms. What a finish that. A thumping finish into the back of the net. 1-1. One, one. What a way to get back in the game. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Indeed the substitute. What a beautiful connection. Could not have hit it sweeter than that. You can have a look at it again and again. It is a top quality finish from Alko Sadhukan. We'll have the confirmation as well in a while. But after 30 minutes played, it is at level terms once again. All square here at Kolkata. And New Alipur will have some amount of relief. I told you they have a few tricks in their cards, but they were just not being to a being able to break the offside trap. And once they do so, they do look dangerous. Has been given as a goal kick. Seemed like a corner though. They're not complaining as well. They're happy with the equalizer. They'll take their time and try to get on the lead now. And there's the confirmation. Super sub. Well, we'll wait to say that uh, if they win the game. But Arko Sadhukan has surely helped this team come back into the game. And here they come once again trying to break the offside trap with that lofted pass. Good football.
overall strong defending trying to clear it away free kick awarded high boot is the reason that's showing probably or maybe not uh, but a free kick in favor of new alipur college That's a lofted ball forward. The keeper is out once again, collecting it well. And here comes DBMS. What a wonderful sliding challenge to stop that attack. DBMS, DBSM have to do it all again. Here is Joy. Under some pressure, given away a throw in. New Alipur suddenly have a fresh spark of energy. Can they convert the little spark into some light here and get the leading goal? But before that, they have to deal with this attack from DBSM, who are chasing and once again inside the box. That very strong defending. And again, a little bit of confusion there. And the captain will clear his lines. I enjoyed we. Throw in taken quite long. It seems like a free kick, is it? Couldn't really see the area of impact uh, or the incident. And he is everywhere suddenly. Orko. Well, that's how you would pronounce the name in Bengali, uh, being in Kolkata. And another forward ball for TBSM. From the left, uh, he doesn't have much options. And the rightly went for the shot. Uh, he'll win a throw in as a reward. Is it a corner? It was a throw in. Uh, he was trying to be a little tricky there, asking for the corner. Well, there was a, the opening player, probably a little bit of confusion, surely not being tricky against his own team, but now New Alipur College might have an opportunity to go on attack, checking the run, trying to keep, stay onside. He has managed to stay onside, but couldn't get onto the ball. Smart, that is smart from the attackers of New Alipur, they have sensed the offside trap being on and they're playing accordingly Akash Hembram has been pretty active as well for DBSM the jersey number 13 he has been trying a few things as well Got close to scoring one important header from the defender because any mistake could have cost them another goal. There was a purple shirt up against him waiting for his mistake. It's another great pass. No one probably at the end of that in their own colors. Ball didn't have much space on it to take it out of play. Clearance falls in favor of them. And finally out for a throw. Very evenly matched these two sides at this moment. A different style of play from both the teams. But very much in balance in terms of possession, attacking and the score sheet as well. I'm talking about possession. Uh, DBSM might have more of it. But not by a huge margin. 
here they come once again from the left the right channel has been slightly silent in the last few minutes throw in taken quickly try to outplay his opponent with that little bit of trick uh, comes off the defender instead out for a throw in again they're not in any sort of urgency here either of the teams especially when the ball goes out of play it's very composed there's a certain bit of composure in this game uh, which is making it more interesting it's not that they're being lazy or not interested to play but they are going for it every time they have the ball but then there's a certain bit of calmness about the way they're approaching the game. Sometimes confidence can be calm and maybe that is what these two teams have in their mind. They want their performance and score line to speak for them. Very focused. Uh, that little touch almost fell for the attackers. Is that a handball? The referee has blown his whistle for something. Probably foul or a handball. Or go with the long ball forward. No trouble for Bibek Mighty who distributes it wide to Joy. Heavy touch there. And now has he broken the offside trap this time? Well, he doesn't he thinks he has, but the assistant referee doesn't. He's been a frustrated figure. He's not let it come out on his face or maybe on his play. But he certainly doesn't like that decision. It's not once, not twice. It's n number of times that he's been offside now. Sanjay Soren with the pre kick for DBSM. Lofted forward of Tussle on the right flank. Will be fouled by Rohit. Ayan Chaudhary, the captain, has responsibilities on his shoulder. It has performed pretty decently so far and this man since coming on has been at the end of most of the set pieces for New Alipur College switch to the left Plenty of attacks, but not so many goals. Uh, one each right now. Two goals in the game. Distributed evenly. 1-1 one, one is the score line. We are approaching the halftime mark. Five minutes or so remaining in the first half. And Bibek Mighty will once again take his time. They are not in any sort of hurry. Invited Ayan Mondol once again, who has been working tirelessly in attack for New Alipur College. Here's the other number six, Joy, who was pretty active initially. It's gone a little silent. Now from the right hand side, Joy once again inside the box. Is that a penalty? Not much in that. will win a corner and this man has saved his team once as well so both the substitutes have made impact 
Bubai Sardar on goal for New Alipur had made a wonderful save to keep them in level terms. Could have been 2 0 had he not made the save, but it's 1 1 right now. And Joy has a chance to whip in the corner. Takes a shot. TBSM trying to implement those practice ground routines here. Sanjay Saran, captain with the miss pass, and now he's left a void in defense, which will be covered up by the keeper and the defense. The big mighty has looked confident, but hopefully he's not doing it too much. Sometimes overconfidence and confidence has a thin line which needs to be maintained, otherwise it can be costly. Hopefully he does so. That's a great ball down the right-hand side. Can he cross it in? Yes, he does. The keeper is there. Missed it. Chance for a shot. And just couldn't find the perfect connection. And lucky escape for DBSM who are on an attack right now. Slows it down, playing it back. Well, they could have so nearly been on the lead, Nimalipur College. And here comes the cross forward, has a chance, the keeper is out. He has missed it. And is that a foul? It is foul on the keeper, says the ref. Rohit will be disappointed with that. Look at that incident once again. Should have scored initially. But whatever it takes, Bobai Siddhar has kept his team at level terms. And that's a scuffed attempt to pass it forward. Unlucky, lost his footing, and this might be a chance for New Alipur College, who are driving inside the box with some intent. They're appealing for a foul. It's just given against them. Well, it doesn't seem like a foul to me. Uh, it seemed like the goalkeeper clashed with his own teammate. Uh, we'll understand better once we see the replay of that incident. Just took a niggle there. Well, how much more time will be added on at the end of 45 uh, by the assistant referee? Is what we are waiting to figure out. One minute left in the regulation time of first half football. Well, talking about Kolkata football and the giants of the game, uh, one of their teams. One of the Kolkata Giants, of course, will be taking on Hyderabad FC tonight in the ISL. It's Hyderabad against East Bengal. And one part of Bengal will be eagerly waiting to see some joy and smile in their faces tonight. But the quiz for football is not limited to the locality. It is outside India as well. Talking about the World Cup, Argentina also has a game and Kolkata is more interested as well about that. We started play with the free kick. Not so much time left in the first half unless a few minutes added on by the referee. Almost done with 45 minutes and 3 minutes as the board signals will be played after 45, a minimum of 3 minutes added on. Especially for that injury, I believe. Is there time for any of the teams to get on to the lead before half-time? Will be of so much advantage if they can go into the break with the lead. And TBSM have a free kick in order to do that. Looking for a left-footed delivery. 
Hembrum inside the box, so is Rohit straight to the keeper's hand. Bubai Sardar has been saving his team time and again since he has come on. Didn't face too many attempts though, but on the occasions he has been has been tested. He came out victorious in that. Possession for New Alipur in attack with the throw in. And this is where they are most dangerous because in this zone of the field, they do not have the fear or have less fear of falling into the offside trap. Once again, the cross comes in, chance for a header at the far post. The defenders are alert. He's kept it in play, but only to a pink shirt. And that will be easily collected by Bibek Mighty, who will once again take his time and run down the clock. I wonder why. Maybe the league table can tell us better. And here come DBSM with Soren. Too much time taken. New Alipur College trying to find a way forward. And that's wonderful walk to keep it in play. It'll finally go out in the throw in for DBSM. They're surprised with the decision. Well, it is what it is. Shyan Chaudhary complaining about that. Doesn't really matter because the referee's decision is final in the game. And the referee says uh, that is it for the first 45 minutes. And a evenly contested first half comes to an end. Here's the halftime score line. Dr. Bhupendranath Tata Smriti Mahavidyalaya 1 and New Aripur College 1. We'll be back again with the second 45 minutes in a few moments from now.
Good afternoon and welcome back once again to the Kolkata City Championships. It is the second half of the match between Dr. Bhupendra Dutta Smriti Mahavidyalaya and New Alipur College in the college boys category. The under 23s are battling it out and after the first 45 minutes it is 1-1 between the two teams. And we'll wait to see if there is a different story and we can find a winner in the second half both the teams have been pretty much on their top game different style of play and there we go kick off in second half final 45 minutes of the game it is dbsm attacking from right to left of your screens in yellow jerseys and new alipur college will be attacking from left to right in pink jerseys purple rather and that attack could have been dangerous uh, the deflection almost luckily falling for the attacking team but both teams uh, have been troubling each other when they go in attack the keepers have been alert there has been a substitution in keeper in goalkeepers for nimali poor college uh, which has worked in their favor he's made one or two crucial saves and on the other hand, uh, the keeper of DBSM looks confident every time he has an opportunity to get onto the ball. Clear away. And the first attack of the game comes from, of the second half rather, comes from New Alipur College. Attacking opportunity would be more accurate to say. Now they have a chance to whip it in. And they'll have a corner. First corner in the second half uh, goes in favor of New Alipur College. They had come back into the game from the corner. And here's another chance. Biki Das with the delivery. This time more towards the far post and on the rebound they're waiting for one more shot and here comes the shot looking for the curler just over the bar almost a similar fashion in which they got the equalizer it was Orko Sadukan who was himself a substitute came onto the pitch and what a stunner he delivered for his team to make it 1-1 New Alipur College trying to build up an attack. The offside trap had been troubling them so much in the initial phases of the first half. They'll try to break that and uh, maybe they have a better plan in the second half. Uh, they had the discussions at half time. And there was a clumsy tackle. Not intentional, but fouled. Shyan Chaudhary has won a free kick for his team
Mizanur Laskar is going to take the free kick for New Alipur College. And now might be a chance. A shot comes in, saved by the keeper. And what a save that. The attack is still on. Or rather, the danger was still on, but we make mighty with a mighty hand stopping that going inside the net and that might be a yellow card here the two number 16s clashing pushed him down to the ground no card says the referee understands the sentiments uh, involved he was not really trying to hurt his uh, opponent man Gautam Rajpunchi and Debottam Kaur the two number 16s and that was a really really great opening for new alipole college praises for vivek mighty the two goalkeepers have done their job so well so far plenty of the game to be still played and new alipole college look a little bit more dangerous right now 40 more minutes to be played after this. Enough time to find a winner. It's a wasteful ball forward. Ayan Chaudhary has led his team from the back. Here he is with the throw in. Pressure being applied. No one calling upon him. Great interception. It's all round good football what we are watching here. And that might break free for a yellow shirt, but Orgo is there in time to rescue. But he has given it away. And once again, look at that interception. And he's running forward with the ball. A dummy and a great little one touch. Chance for a shot, scuffed the attempt and over the bar it goes in disappointment and it was perfectly laid off for the shot, should have hit the target and they have the ball back, they're suddenly looking more dangerous New Alipur and the keeper hasn't cleared it well, this might be the second goal and what a mistake. It is 2-1. New Alipur College on the lead. And look at the happiness in the face of the coach. His tactics and discussions have paid off. His team is on the lead. Look at that once again. The keeper was trying to clear it. The captain left it for the clearance. Uh, but it hit a player in the opponent jersey. The number two, Sandeep Chakraborty. Well, well. What a story this is turning out to be. And the man who was looking for a goal from long, long time, Ayan Mondol, has finally got his goal. Yellow card, and now things might just get a little heated up. They need to be in control, and the referee needs to take care as well so that he ensures he's in charge. And this is a comeback story being written by New Alipur DBSM, where the team who got the lead first, there's a confirmation on Mandal, jersey number six for New Alipur College. Has got them the lead story of two A's in Iron and Orko had their team in the lead at this very moment while we talk <laughs> 53 minutes played and DBSM have lots of work to do here
Oyoko with the free kick. He has been so lively. And once again, the keeper is out. Needs to collect it this time. He does well. Wasn't his mistake uh, the last time as well? I believe uh, maybe uh, a little bit of miscommunication with the defender. The clearance and a little bit of luck working in favor of uh, New Alipur College to get that deflection. And coincidentally, uh, the keeper, Bibek Mighty, is wearing jersey number two and the deflection came off. Sandeep Chakraborty, who is also wearing jersey number two, and now TBSM are looking for the equalizer. Important challenge comes in, tries to tweak his opponent. It's a DBSM's turn to attack now. They are the team who need a goal more. Another deflection falls in favor of DBSM this time, but a foul says the referee. Could have been a half of deflections where the half starts with two deflections getting two goals to each team but not to be the case he's struggling somnath kosh seems to be the man seems a little bit of confusion for me the keeper is out of his lines, needs to save it, does well to get back and save his team from conceding a third. Smile on the face of Iron Mondal. Look at that opportunity once again. The keeper was a little too confident, out of his lines. The header was going inside the target, does well to track back and save the goal. Two important saves now in the second half from Bibek Mighty, even though he has conceded the goal, but both the saves were very, very crucial. And New Alipur are coming stronger. Another corner, chance for a shot from a long way out. The deflection falls well for New Alipur. It's offside anyway, but the keeper had once again made a save. Bibek Mighty, unfortunate deflection is all he would be thinking about it. Because otherwise, he has been strong and active and very, very alert under the goal. And now, DBSM have a chance to break, and that heavy touch, not a heavy touch rather, he jumbled it up inside his feet, and now a shot comes in off target, agonizingly wide. He himself knows he should have hit the target, could have celebrated the second goal for his team so nearly. Wonderful idea and technique, just lacking the direction on it or rather the height he would have expected it to hit on dbsm once again in attack chipped forward from the right hand side now takes an extra touch the cross comes in finally inside the box they have options to pass and maybe shoot as well the one two is played successfully and the defender with an important clearance but the referee says it is a penalty and according to him the defender took more of the man than the ball and seems to be the decision is a penalty and the player is down on ground as well injured that was suddenly a chance inside the box for dbsm 
and the attack had been stopped by an important clearance i thought but the referee as a judge this it as a penalty that it did not miss any action from these intense matches all around the country and i'm sure you wouldn't like to miss them as well and in order to do so do like and subscribe to the official channel of reliance foundation your sports where you are watching this game right now but right now it is a chance for dbsm to convert from the spot and get back into the game job in hand for bobai sardar he's the substitute keeper has been tested once and here's a chance from the penalty spot sanjay saren the captain takes responsibilities on his shoulder to get his team back into the game it's Sanjay Soren against Bubai Sardar. Taking the run up a little late. Trying to play mind games with the keeper. Here comes Sanjay Soren with the shots and the goal. They are back at level terms once again. And it's all square yet again in the game. And look at that penalty. Very well taken by the captain. Nothing Bubai Sadar could do as Sanjay Suren gets his team back into the game. It's 2 2. Dr. Bhupendranath Tatta Smriti Mahavidyale 2 and New Alipur College 2. After an hour of the game played, nothing to separate between the two teams. 30 more minutes to figure out and find out a winner. And DBSM will suddenly have more energy to play the next 30, given that they're the team who got the goal back right now. And New Orleans Poor, of course, wouldn't be leaving any stones unturned. They have started the second half on a high and would look to continue the same with the same amount of intensity and Commitment. There's the confirmation of the goal scorer Sanjay Soren with jersey number five. The captain of DVSM has got them back in the match. Well, to be honest, the second half has been more of New Alipur, apart from those one or two slight glimpses which uh, they created. TBSM and uh, they've got the goal as well we're talking about the entire match so far a very fair score line you want for trying to build another attack they have broken the offside trap pretty well in the second half uh, don't remember even one offside in this half and the defender has made a mistake he's on a yellow card as well I believe and the touch from the defender could have taken it anywhere. Good anticipation by Bubai Sardar to collect it and save the corner as well. It's a brilliant touch to beat the defender. And now from the left, here come New Alipur. The game suddenly opened up a little more than it was a while ago. Great passing and movement. Now from the left, space is opening up. The coach needs to do something about this because I believe one of the defenders was injured a while ago. And since then, he has not been in his top game. A little tired legs as well. From the man, here he is, uh, the number seven. Somnath Kosh. I told you a while ago about him being injured when he was down on the ground. And he's giving away free kicks, has given away a penalty as well, if I'm not mistaken. Gautam Rajpanshi with the free kick, the number 16 for DBSM. Went for the direct shot, I believe. Uh, miles off target. New Alipur College uh, 
would be loving to win this match. So would TBSM, but the new Ali4 would want to complete a comeback story. TBSM trying their best to spoil it. Takes an extra touch, looking for the shot. Uh, has won a free kick, which has been taken quickly. New Ali4 trying to go on the break. Trying to attack quickly and might just break the defense here. Who are quick enough to track back before the attack is executed. Here they come from the left once again and uh, finally the offside trap works in the second half. The referee will shift his attention to the other part of the pitch. Four goals in the game already. We might expect more surely the way the game is going on. It will be heartbreak for the losing team because both of the teams have been fighting so well. A draw might just be the best result, but that is not uh, what teams play for. Clever back heel has options right and left. Just a little heavy. The keeper is out and the deflection takes it out for a corner. And DBSM can hope and they will hope that they find the lead as soon as possible it's been a while since they have been in the lead it was the 19th minute of the game when they got onto the one nil lead and since then new r4 made a comeback to lead 2-1 and finally tbsm have their way back at 2-2 and now can they find the lead back again a left footed in swinging delivery the header goes off target not really in balance and in shape to find the target. Rohit has got a goal to his name. Stolen back by New Alipur College. Can get the pass forward and stay on side as well. The interception at the right time and now DBSM it's end-to-end -end stuff here at Kolkata. Heavy touch but it'll fall in favor of him. It'll work in favor of him. And now the cross comes in. Inside the box might be dangerous here. Crucial, crucial sliding tackle. Now Niwalipur looking to create an attack. poke forward and he has managed to stay onside this time the keeper is out beats the keeper and this should be the third goal well not really he's taking it wide the attack is still on they have a chance to cross it in from the left hand side and deflect it out for a corner and now his expressions come out as he knows he should have scored the coach cannot believe it he cannot believe it and look at that he's not happy emotions well, they want the win. They need the win. He needs to be up on his feet. You cannot stay that way. You need to get the motivation back. And uh, you have to try once more. The player is down injured as well. But they'll have a corner. New Alipur College. Well, the captain or some of the teammates needs to go and talk to him. He's still thinking about the miss, but maybe self-motivation is the best thing to do at this moment. And hopefully he'll find a goal for his team. Not often we see that. Even the coach's reactions lasted pretty long. Did so well to beat the keeper, but just couldn't find the back of the net. The touch took it wide of goal. But right now, DBSM have a corner to defend. 
and New Alipo do look dangerous in these corner kicks. Right footed, really cute. That goal kick properly. You can sense the pressure on them. I wonder what the halftime talks were in the New Alipo side. The coach pretty much involved in whatever the team does. Good to see such attachment. No foul given. DBSM trying to go in attack. Interception comes in. And so does New Alipu College pass it back to DBSM who are running down the right hand side with their captain. Goes for the direct shot. And finally will be cleared off danger, hopefully. But doesn't have much space to do so. Corner for DBSM now. The game so much in balance, like a seesaw. Once this way, once that way. Right now, just at the center. But it's a turn for DBSM to do some damage from this corner. The captain with the corner kick. There was a player lining up for the acrobatic attempt. It was cleared away before he could do so. Another forward pass down the left hand side. It'll run out of play. Well, to be very honest, uh, DBSM are falling short of ideas in attack right now. It's been predictable and almost similar the way they have started the game. They have started the game. But on the other hand, New Alipur look like a different side in the second half. Even though they were good enough in the first. But right now, they've been doing better. Cheers coming on from the bench. DBSM. Trying to find a way past the defensive block. But New Alipur have won it back and seems to be onside for me. The flag has stayed down as well. Here's another chance opening up the defensive track back quickly. And is that a handball? No, says the referee. And that'll be offside. Some screams in the frustration about that decision. But on the other hand, uh, because that was not given as a handball, they were saved by the offside flag. His replay, well, not at all a handball, it seems to hit the chest. Just his reaction probably made them think so. But New Alipo College had been saved by the offside flag on the other side of the field. But now they might not be saved because the flag has stayed down and it is an attack from DBSM. From a narrow angle, the shot comes in, saved by the keeper. They still have the ball and finally given back. Here's Orgo to the left. He is running forward to support his teammates. The keeper is out of his lines and it will be a throw in for New Alipo. Another cross forward, the keeper needs to collect it, uh, does well. And the referee's whistle for some reason, I believe. Uh, there is uh, some off the ball incident. And Rohit is down on the ground. Seems to have taken a knock on his uh, right ankle. Seventy-five minutes played. Last fifteen minutes of the game remaining. It's all levels between the two teams.
very very evenly balanced the two sides and every time they go on attack it looks dangerous well there was no off the ball incident or rather it was the previous attack in which uh, he had gone down <laughs> I'm sure they're keeping note of the time being used during these stoppages and that will be added on later, later after the 90 minutes. Well, some call it additional time while some call it stop. Holding on his nerves, brilliant dribbling, the captain has suddenly come alive. Sanjay Saran in the second half. He's got the goal from the penalty spot as well. And since that, he's been more active. Here is Sanjay. With the cross, uh, needs to be cleared. Back with DBSM. Finally, a free kick, Kevin. That'll relieve some amount of pressure. They have to take it again. Now from the right. New Alipur College. Do they have any more trick left in their card? To surprise us and uh, get the lead here once more. Throw in Devotam Kaur with the throw. Cleared away by DBSM. That pass was read so well. And now a menacing run down the right hand side. He's passed all the entire defense and he has three, four players in support. And what does he do? Passes it straight to the keeper. Needed to look up for a while and find a better option. Akash Hembram. So running past everyone. So easy for him. But just couldn't finish it well. And that's why the final pass and final third work is so important what you do eventually with all the possession you have and all the tricks and skills you do the main thing is you need to convert and get a goal and any only poor player has taken a knock right now or maybe pulled up a muscle Time is running out for the teams to find a winner here. Can we have another goal in this game? A third one. We'll have the attack continuing. After the injury, Well, the referee uh, needs to have a word probably. A lot of time being taken. Uh, doesn't seem to be a serious injury though. Hopefully he's all right. Uh, 
having few words with the referee or rather the player to check if he can continue and he'll finally be up on his feet and uh, we'll see if he can carry on it is the goal scorer Ian Mondol he's gone down once again on the touchline uh, doesn't seem like he'll be able to carry on uh, yeah there's the signal substitution required Uh, hopefully he'll be fine soon but we'll continue with the game throw in for DBSM Sanjay Sarin is looking gradually more dangerous Substitution at the number six uh, iron has gone off. After of regulation time, can any of the team find a winner? There will surely be. A certain amount of time added on by the referee after that. Floated forward. Who will be the one taking it? Seems like a five man wall is what Bibake Mighty has asked for. Do we have another wonderful goal to witness here? Arka Sadukan is also there. He'll go for the shot directly. It kept rising. Wasn't a bad shot. Tell you what. Had it been on target, Bibek Mighty would have been in trouble. And thankfully enough, uh, it hasn't been on target. Kept rising and at the last moment left the target. Way behind, I would say. And now DBSM have a chance to break. Can they get a last minute winner here? Shot with the left. Side netting. Goal kicked in. Lucky, lucky escape. Ending moments of the game. It's getting more and more intense. Three and a half minutes left to be played of regulation time. Safely to the keeper. And we'll have a very interesting last few moments here. Can any of the team win it? Sanjay Soren. That deflection will take it out for a corner and Sanjay Soren will surely be interested in taking that. They have an important set piece to defend here near Walipur College. It will be a right footed delivery. If I'm not mistaken, he is the one who took it with the left a while ago. And the header comes in. 
just across the face of goal. They have won back the ball. DBSM have a chance to cross it in towards the far side. The header, he couldn't keep it on target. He's asking for the corner, which has been given. It'll once again be Sanjay Soren. With the corner kick, can they convert this time? The keeper is out. Everyone has missed it. DBSM still trying to get on to the lead. And they'll win a throw in New Alipur College. What a game we are having here. Giving it back. Once again, a great touch from the captain there to bring it down. I enjoyed we after a long while, but now DBSM will be trying and trying this beautiful skill to get past the defenders. A long wing shot comes in, just off target. Bubai Sardar hasn't been troubled since a while and he'll be happy to see that go off. And not a great goal kick taken by Somnath Kosh. He's been struggling since that injury. Not sure how no one spotted it, especially from their team. Rather from the bench. Uh, maybe the experience he brings in. Scuffed shot should be offside. The flag has stayed down. And this might be the third goal. Seems like it has been given. It was pretty clear that it seemed to be offside. But the goal has been given and DBSM are on the lead at the very last second of the game. It's 3-2. They're still appealing and complaining. Well, well, well. And that'll be a sting to their heart if it ends this way. And look at the replay once again. Immediately appealing for offside, not given. And easy for the attacker to slot it in. Sanjay Soren. Well. They're complaining about the same thing, about the player standing at the offside position, but not being given. It seems like uh, he's calling his team back. Uh, it is really heartbreak if, uh, if they have to lose with an offside goal at the last moment after such a hard fight. And I wonder what the decision is, but at the moment, as it seems, uh, the coach in the bench has called their team back and they do not want to continue even though 90 minutes is done only a few more would have been added on but i'm sure they do not want to continue that is the call at this moment we'll wait for official confirmation and update He is not at all happy, the coach. There's so much involved. The team were working so hard. He's saying about the handball as well a while ago. Complaining to the match official. They seem to check the video as well. I wonder if that's possible. Well, to the viewers who have been asking if the goal has been given or not, uh, the goal has been given. And that is why 
New Alipo College are not happy with it because according to them uh, the player was standing in an offside position the referee has a better vision and view of it from that angle but then uh, cannot be confirmed without evidence it's very difficult for them for the referees uh, they do not have the advantage of cameras and all Ninety minutes were done anyway when the goal came. They would have added a few more seconds to it. Wonder what the decision is. The referees having a discussion, the match officials and the so is the discussion at the sideline. They seem to be confident. Well, there's no VAR to decide and uh, we are waiting for an official confirmation about what is going to be the decision here. Even from the angle we were watching, it's a little un inconclusive given that a player was tracking back as well. Well, we'll uh, wait till we have any official confirmation. Right now, it's a uh, DBSM who are leading by three goals to two at the end of 90 with the last second goal, which seemed to be offside but was not given, which is why the coach of New Alipur and the bench has called back the team. Oh, well, uh, to the viewers uh, having a little bit of confusion about the goal and the score line. The score line is 3 2 because the goal was given, which is why uh, New Alipur College were protesting against it. According to them, it was offside, and uh, even from our angle, it seemed to be offside, though we cannot conclude it that way. There was a player tracking back as well, but they have called their team off the pitch. And we'll wait for a confirmation and an official update about uh, the result of the game. Captain having a word.
Well, seems like the referees have blown for full time as they waited. And uh, I'm not sure about the result of the game. A red card is coming out from the referee as well, or is it? Or is it just that he's walking home? Well, I'll just confirm it to you once uh, I get the information. We are still not sure about it. The full time whistle has been blown. And that's the highlights of the game. Uh, very confusing for the players and the viewers, especially. You can understand. Well, we are still asking for the confirmation about uh, the result of the game, if it's a 3-2 or a 2-2. It was initially 3-2, and a goal was given, but then after all the chaos and uh, questions raised, Well, the last update from our side is that uh, DBSM has won the match uh, by a 3-2 margin as per the coordinators of the game. And that is the last update we have and we'll be leaving you with that until we have any other update, which will be updated, of course, on the Reliance Foundation Yacht website. But the confirmation that we have got right now is that uh, DBSM have won by a 3-2 margin.
presentation ceremony lined up i'm not sure how many of uh, the new alipur college will be happy about that because the decision has been made officially it is dr pupendranath that the smriti mahavidyalaya who are the winners of the game and the champions clearly seem to be offside but then the referees have a better idea about it being on the pitch and being in front but right now it's time for the trophies especially the individual awards they'll be waiting for there is the trophy for the golden boot the golden ball the golden glove and of course the champions uh, trophy we are waiting for the awards to be given and we'll begin in a moment welcome to the player of the match presentation of the college boys category of the kolkata city league of rfys 2022 that put rising football stars from kolkata in the spotlight that was a great game congratulations to both teams for entertaining us may i now invite on the field match commissioner ma'am anamika sen for the match presentation ceremony participating schools parents and coaches of these students for encouraging them to come out and participate in this tournament the player of the match for today's game is rohit singh from dr bhupendranath smriti mahavidyalaya and he is the player of the match for today's game from dbsm is the jersey number 11 rohit singh with the award of man of the match thank you rohit rohit calling upon the best goalkeeper of the tournament to receive the golden glove award the winner is sk arif from dr bhupendra nath sriti mahavidyalaya there's the best goalkeeper with the golden glove it's sk arif who was on substitute today has won the golden glove award from dr bhupendra nath the sriti mahavidyalaya golden boot award with a tally of 70 of through the season 
The winner is Tushar Hemrod of Dr. Bhupan Dr. Sriti Mahavidyalaya. And another award for the team in yellow. It's the golden boot with seven goals to his name. Tushar Hembram has won Thank the golden you, boot you award. For, your for, your for his consistent performance through the tournament, the golden ball award winner is Subhankar Kujur of Chandra College. There's the golden ball award. It's Shubhankar Kajur from Charuchandra College. They might not be the winners, but they are the second best team of Kolkata, led by Captain Sanjay Soren. We would like to invite the runners up team, Dr. Bhupan Dr. Sriti on the field to collect their medallions. There's the runners up, the winners of today's game. Dr. Bhupendranath, that the Sriti Mahavidyalaya. The runners up of the, the tournament. Here's the runners-up trophy. The runners-up of Kolkata City Championship. They might not. Uh, they played well and they played in style. Let's celebrate the kings of Kolkata. Request the champion team, Charuchandra College, to come forward and collect their winning medals. Led by Captain Oritra Ghosh. And there's the champions of Kolkata the Charuchandra College collecting their individual medals and they'll collect the trophy soon as well to continue their celebrations now would request the team captain Oritra Ghosh and team coach Shomir Berasar to collect the coveted silver wall and prize money It's time to celebrate the champions of Kolkata League Championships. Big congratulations to team Charuchandra College. Can we have the music please? And there we go. The trophy for the champions. The Charuchandra College. Champions of Kolkata City Championships. And that's all for the presentation ceremony. Celebrations will continue and we'll see you again.